What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing another Live the Dream Cube draft. Here's the thing. Team Jbro yesterday on Sunday had 23 trophies. The cube went up on Wednesday. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It was up for five days. Let's round up and say 24 trophies, right? So that's like five trophies a day if you're rounding up. And... These drafts have actually taken longer. Like, they're not like an hour and 20 minute drafts. They, like, all, most of my drafts are closer to two hours. Right? So that's 10 hours of drafting every day. Not even including the ones you lose. That's just the ones he's won. I'm actually going to message him and be like, dude, okay, how do you have this many trophies? How do you have this many hours in the day? Like, he has, he has kids, he has a wife, he has a family. He does do job. And he does have a non-streaming job. So I'm like, where do you find the time to not only play five a day that you win, but to play the rest that you don't win as well? Like, where do you, wh where, where are you finding this? It's unbelievable to me. <laughs> other people can't log on. Well, I guess they could. I, I mean, like, maybe other people could be using his account. But I don't know what the point of that would be. In the morning when I rise. I also don't think anyone uses J-Bro's account. Calamax go. <laughs> this card doesn't excite me much. It don't excite me much. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I, I don't think J-Bro would do that. Like, I, I seriously don't think he's giving his account information to anyone else. I don't know, man. This this pack is really interesting. Nothing is super compelling. Calamax is interesting. Breeding Pool seems safer. Living Death seems interesting. I don't love this pack either. I feel like nothing is super, super compelling. I like... I think I'm just going to take the Calamax. Oh, a Ketria Triome. After a Calamax? That's pretty good. The Stomping Ground could also come back. So could Chromatic Lantern. Yeah, I'll take a Triome. On color Triome. Oh, you're going to give me a Zagoth Triome, too. What does this one do? Whenever you... It's just a copy one. Okay. Hmm. Oh, uh, I mean, I don't I, I don't think I've seen Chromatic Lantern enough to know if it wheels or not. I have. I, I don't actually know. Whenever a player casts a spell, it's not their turn. That player draws a card. Whenever you cast your first spell each turn... This works on their turn, too. So, like, you, once you attack with it... The spell on your turn and the spell on their turn gets copied? That's pretty weird. Is it your first instant or sorcery? Or just instant? Just instance. I was like, I could see the benefit of this if like you if it if it copies this. You want a trophy? I can get you a trophy. Believe me, dude, there are ways. You don't want to know about it. I can get you a trophy. I can get you a trophy by 2 p.m. with polish. You're gonna like commit to memory? I guess if we're copying, it's not terrible. All right, you know what? I'll give it to you. No beats, I'll give it to you, man. I'll give you two out of two for this. I kind of like Ravager Worm. I kind of like Spitting Image. Spark Double's cute. A lot of these, like, a lot of these sorceries I wish were instants. I'm like, oh, how come I can't copy this? I like Worm? You mean Worm? Yeah, I like Worm too. I, I think I think a Worm is good. I was like, Worm? In the morning when I rise Bring the dear God to my eyes Uh, no. Mm, no. Beast Whisper, maybe. Watcher, maybe. 
Whenever a creature you control does combat damage, put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. Draw a card for each creature you control with power of 4 or greater. I actually don't hate that at all. I think there's a 4 toughness theme in Teamer that we're definitely going to try to exploit here. I always wish Worm could build up any non-basic too, but alas. It does blow up the Cycling Lands, which is nice. So like the Triomes and the, um, like the Fetid Pool Cycle. Also, Shaman's got haste. This card is great in standard. So tell me everything. I don't know where Wallace is. I got a little Wally over here in the bed. Or a little Watson here in the bed, but. Where's your little brother? Uh, cycling is indeed an activated ability. You can tell because the reminder text is three, discard this card, colon, draw a card. Anytime a card has a colon, you are reading an activated ability. It's gonna be alright. Are we gonna play Where's Walladum? Wall Wallium? We should. Oh, I like a Lumbering Falls. And I don't like anything else in this pack. So, perfect. <laughs> perfect. Unfortunately, guys, Lumbering Falls does get does get hit by Ravage Worm. Oh my god, what is this, Jimulum? I have a colon? Yeah, you're an activated ability, Tyler. You say that because someone Oh, Jimulum, Jimulum. Jimulum? <laughs> wow, this is... Late, no man. one on the earth is named Jimulum. <laughs> I don't even remember having this background three months ago. That's wild. Star of Extinction. I don't think we're a Boros Reckoner deck. Kerwit, one day we're going to draft this Star of Extinction. I think it's just Gigantha. I bet we can have a Gigantha and, and actually have it as our companion. Plus it goes well with our... Yeah, I'm going to take a Gigantha. I have a colon, Greg. Can you activate me? <laughs> oh. Jesus. God. I love you guys. Wait, does it really? Oh, more than one of the same mana symbols. Yeah, you're right. Never mind. For some reason... Never mind. I thought Gigantha was... um, You can't have the same mana costs in your deck. Like, you can only have one card that has three and a red. Or you can only have one card that's three red, green, green, right? So, um, yeah, also, Commit to Memory also ruins it, so, you know. No bueno. Oh, Combustible Gearhulk is exciting, though. It's always the best when they don't let you draw with Combustible Gear Hulk and they just kill themselves. Oh, Lanor Visionary? Oh my god, I'm really excited about the, the cards that we're getting past here. Oh, but Garrick's Uprising. <gasps> That's literally custom built for this deck, right? Oh my god. <sighs> wow. Somebody tell me which one it is. Which one of the three mana green cards is it? This is really bad. Lanor Visionary draws, they both draw us a card. But Lenore Visionary... Oh, fuck. Oh, God. I think it is Uprising. Oh, God, that was not easy. Midnight Clock is a card that I, I keep getting... I'm keeping... I keep being really kind of impressed with. It's just a... It's just like a... It's like a three mana... Mana Rock, which it is. That just sometimes lets you draw seven. Also, Trample is good. I agree with that. Yeah, all right. Um, don't care about this guy. I'll just take Ral. Roshin Meander, while not exciting, is still a four-power creature that triggers both 
Garrick and Shaman, so. <sighs> chaos Warp is Chaos Warp, I guess. Star of Extinction came back? Wow. In Italian, the Trauma Analytics called it Overwhelm? Is that, is that true? That doesn't sound correct. In the morning, oh, Jimulum. Hey, man, we could also get Boros Reckoner. Don't get it twisted. Well, I was hoping this would be a, a land that's our color, but... This is literally just a formatted card that says whenever you cast a non-token creature, draw a card. It's never gonna... Lightning Bolt just seems good, though, right? <laughs> like, triple red's tough. Double red, not so much, though. That's fair. I think it's just Lightning Bolt. Ah, uh, this card's great. And there's nothing I'm really... feel like I'm missing here. Yeah, I think we're just taking Rada Heart of Keld. Doesn't trigger the four drops, but being able to play lands off the top of your library is pretty nice. Joyra, meh. Blasphemous Act and Star of Extinction? Jeez. I think Sage is good. I wouldn't mind Sage Wheeling. Um, when do we cast a Legendary Spell draw card? We have Rishing Meander, Rada, Gigantha, Kalamax. We actually have quite a few Legendary creatures in here. I mean, I don't necessarily think a 1, 2 for 3 is very good. But Nexus of Fate. Ooh, I kind of like Nexus of Fate. Oh, that's actually great. Yeah, we're nexusing of fating. Especially if we go act, uh, tap this guy to attack, nexus of fate, copy it. Yeah, that seems good. I like it. Unfortunate, unfortunate. I like Neheb a lot. Uh, actually, this isn't the Neheb I like. Maybe it... Mm, I think they're both... Maybe they're both good. Muldrifter's good. Conclave Naturalist actually seems great. Like, this is just an effect I really want. I mean, I think Expropriate, Neheb, Muldrifter, and Conclave Naturalist are all very, very good here. I think it's I think it's naturalists. Uh, I don't like Golos necessarily because well, we do have Gigantha. We just have nothing to deal with artifacts and enchantments, and I do like having this. I'm gonna take this guy. I think it's a, a very solid. Oh, Tropical Island. That's exciting. Yeah, no way I'm passing a uh, a premium dual land in our colors. Uh, this is two of our colors. 
Trample, 7 through Trample, lethal damage dealt to creatures you control is determined by their power rather than their toughness. Okay. I understand. I like Izzet Signet, actually. Signet seems great. Dead Eye Navigator is probably fine. But I think we just need the Signet more than we need. Like, we have no two drops right now. And it's non-color Signet, so, like... How are you gonna look a gift a gift signet in the mouth? Shark typhoon. Hmm. Oh, we're not playing this as a companion. Why should it be shark typhoon? I also like kissing cage breakers, but we don't have we're not like uh graveyard thing we could also expansion explosion but that's like uh eh, maybe it is expansion explosion like in the late game tapping gigantha and roshin meander to cast an expansion explosion that you copy with calamax that seems like the biggest is this cycling is x i'm gonna take this but like is this actually is this an ability we're spending this mana only on costs that contain X. Okay, so we can actually use that on Shark Typhoon, interestingly enough. That's pretty sweet. Chromanticore. Chromanticore is love. None of these cards are very good for us, unfortunately. Chromanticore, we could just... We can just cast a Chromanticore with a Gigantha, right? I think we're taking this. Augury seems a little expensive. Unfortunately, Roshi Meander does not help us cast it. However, I do love a Chromanticore, so... Um, Fibbleflip is just fine. I don't think it's Insidious Will or Wildborn Preserver. I do like a, just another generic two- Oh, Somber Wild Sage came back. That's exciting. Thank you. Odysseus, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back, my dude. Oh, man, meetings and trainings done. They went on forever, buddy. I have daily meetings and trainings. And I'm always like, can we skip this? Never can. Well, Beast Within. I don't think we're joy -ring. joy ring. I'll just take a Beast Within. That's funny, since the last time we passed the 1-2, uh, the we got another legendary creature. Glacial Fortress is like a free splash that lets us... Yeah, okay. We're just going to take this. Um, it's, it, it, it's, it's another way to possibly play Chromanticore. I'll take a seat of the truth. Oh, Godzilla came back. Here comes Godzilla. I mean, it triggers Garrick's Uprising. It triggers lots of things. Shark Typhoon came back? That's so exciting. Oh, wow. Loving it. Oh, my God. That was great. Wow. Because it goes so well with Roshin Meander. Like, that's insane. Is this whenever a creature enters Battlefield or whenever you cast a creature? Yeah, so, like, this will... Shark Typhoon will still trigger Garrick's Uprising. Wow, that was great. Uh, I'm leaning towards Windswept Heath because it can get Tropical Island and Ketria Triome. But I also like Galta. Incubation Druid, also pretty decent. I think we take the Druid. Apocalypse Hydra, also fine. I think we take Druid. Um, 
I think we want more two drops and more things that ramp us to four or five. Lethal damage just to creatures you control is determined by their power rather than their toughness. Does that mean like even a 1-1 one -one would kill Incubation Druid? Because that's really interesting. Yeah, I definitely don't think it's Maelstrom Nexus. Yeah, I'm going to take the Druid here. And I'm going to assume we can get more on color lands. What a weird assumption to make. Uh, Kiora seems literally like it was made for this deck. Hmm, that's interesting. I mean, I feel like Calamex is not super great in our deck, but it's also just a 4-4 four, for four, 4. That can get bigger. This is a f but you can't cast non-creature spells. Maybe you have a land from Animal Man. Eh. She should take the Plateau in preparation. Buddy, we already got Star of Extinction in our sideboard, so... I think we are taking the Kiora. I think it's probably the best card in this pack for us. Overgrown Tomb. Prismatic Vista is decent. Oh, Spite Mare, boy. I think it's either Frilled Mystic or Gracious Great Shark. Well, it doesn't auto... Yeah, it doesn't auto die, right? Like, I mean, because it still has to... It still has to be lethal damage. You have to have lethal damage, and then you have to assess lethal damage. If there's no damage whatsoever, it's not going to just put it in the graveyard. Mystic does only have three. Vicious Great Shark has four power. Five, five power, rather. But this counters anything. This is also easier to cast mana-wise. Yeah, I'm just going to take Great Shark. Um, One color. Oh, Gruul Signet? Oh, and a Taiga. Shit. Dang. And a Boros Reckoner? Oh my god, this could have been perfect. We had Spite Mare, Boros Reckoner, Star of Extinction, and Blasphemous Act, but we weren't on the... Dang it. Kerwin, I'm sorry, and I love you, buddy. Is it Gruul Signet or Taiga? I think it's Taiga. <laughs> We can't cast triple red and star. Maybe we can cast star, but this guy's going to be real hard to cast. Oh my god. I can't do it. You owe him? Oh my god, dude. Uh, this has not been the Tinkerer's Cube for, for some time, no. Also, Taunter could come back. That'd be kind of funny. I gotta take Taiga. Like, we just need the mana. We have no red fixing. I'm taking the Taiga, you guys. Jeez. You guys are trying to get me wrecked. Oh, supplant form with Calamex seems really good. So does Atali, though. Oh, man. Atali and Vintage in, in, in this cube? In this economy? So plant form is nice, Atali is nice, and Fabled Passage is nice. This is tricky, man. One, two. We only have four fixing lands. I mean Fabled Passage could be the the play. I really don't like Fabled Passage though. I'm going to take Supplant Form. I think it's good. I think it's like a good... It's a good little trick. Supplant Form. Oh, Dragon Lord of Tarka? Yeah, okay. That seems good. I'll just take a Dragon Lord of Tarka here. Crumbling Necropolis. Also Thrix, the Sudden Storm. It's just a 4-5 flashy guy. It does trigger all of our things. Oh, Rootbound Crag? Wow, that's really nice. Get rewarded. Uh, Apocalypse Hydra. Also, Treasure Map? 
Treasure map could be good. We need more ramp. We have Is It Signet, Incubation, Druid, Midnight Clock, Rada, Summer Old Sage, and Kiora. Like, all of our two and three drops are pretty much ramp. I'm going to take Treasure Map because I think we are a little bit good on the on the Fat Boys. Jungle Shrine, probably decent. I don't think we need any more big creatures. Although, this turns on all... This is actually, this is actually pretty good. I'm going to take this. I'm going to eat Chef Boyardee for dinner. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, that's something, I guess. Spite Mare came back. Hmm. Huh. Every deck I've drafted in this format looks nothing like any other deck I've drafted. It's pretty wild. What soundboard do I use? I literally just have a Stream Deck XL. I'm pretty sure there's not really much competition. The Atali came back? Oh man. Yeah, I don't think there's I don't think there's a better uh like stream deck than um stream deck no was like do we see star yet yeah buddy it's right here oh thunder blust oh fists of flame i don't even know what this does There isn't a better stream deck other than stream deck. That's true, yeah. That's what I said. That's what I said. I said it. Look at this. Look at this combo. Bruh, believe it or not, I'm drunk. I, you know, I do believe it, actually. I don't think we're playing this. I don't think we need the, the white. We need four cuts here. Alright, let's... I think we can cut Godzilla. I don't really care about that guy. Um, I can see boarding a naturalist, but I've, I feel like every single match I've played had a naturalist's target. Plus, it triggers Garrick's Uprising, it triggers Kiora, triggers Shaman. Uh, I can take out Treasure Map. Treasure Map's not super exciting. Two more cuts. I'm tempted to cut Lightning Bolt, to be honest. I could see cutting the worm. I could also see playing 20, 41 cards. Because of course I can. Yeah, let's try it like this. Um, Is a Tali better than Combustible Gearhulk? Probably not, right? I mean, again, Gigant is a 5 mana card. Uh, it's a five-five, so that triggers all of our spells, all of our all of our four toughness matters cards, and it also adds five mana for things like Shark Typhoon, 
explosion expansion dragon lord of tarka like i think this card's just fine i don't think it has to uh we cut two green creatures but we still have like one two three four five six seven eight green creatures i, I mean like this is still just a four man like i think you guys are invalidating cards that are just fine on their own like as four as four four power creatures Oh, it does only add to colored costs. God damn it. This card does nothing that I thought it did. <laughs> At first, I thought the, the, the commander cost would be like, okay, so this and this are different. This is different. This is different. Uh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, this card's just... Yeah, all right. You suck, Gigantha. More like shit, Gantha. I kind of feel like we want Ravager Run just to fight something or like a tally. Cut Supplant? Supplant form is actually insane by itself, let alone with Calamax. You're a maniac. That's ridiculous. I kind of just want to play a tally. Matt, what was the queue I played this in? Because, like, I, I do think this queue and the one I played it in is different. <laughs> Italy. <laughs> yeah, I'm just playing this because I feel... Because I want to. Okay, let's sort by converted mana cost. No, sort by color. That's what I meant. Okay. So, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Go to eight for now. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight as well. Four, five, six, seven, eight. This is eight, eight, eight. And we probably get one more. It's probably just going to be a blue. We only have one double green card. Yeah, sure. Yeah, but I think, like, your upside for, for casting an Atali in this form, in, like, a cube format is just much higher. Like, it's the same reason, like, a like a Fallen Shinobi is okay in uh, Modern Horizons Limited, but it's actually busted in cube draft. Because your ceiling is just so much higher. I have not played any of the Pack Supreme drafts yet, but I, I am talking with Alan Hawkman, who is the uh, owner of Pastimes and who's running a lot of the Packs Online stuff, and I'm probably going to help him promote it this week. It's just got a cricket that's been irritating me for about a week and threw it into my turtle tank. Snacks, boy. Oh, wow. This hand is rough, but I'm going to keep it because of a bloop. And also because enough lands to do everything I want to do. So. Oh, 
Oh, we're playing against the Lesh Nam. That's pretty funny. How long do crickets live? <laughs> Until you get rid of them. Wow. Oh, Bloom Tender. Oh, Lightning Bolt on your Bloom Chicken Tender. And we can still keep up expansion? Wow. We could also copy expansion. Four mana, huh? Or copy Lightning Bolt around there. I don't know why I said copy expansion. We can use expansion to copy. Okay, four mana. Oh, okay. For each color, add one mana of that. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Okay, play the mirror. Yeah, now we're probably going to actually kill both of these. Or we can play Kiora, kill one. Set us up for five mana next turn. Hmm. Well... Oh man, good times. Actually, though. <laughs> oh man. Let's untap a mountain. Kill this guy. Uh, get in there, because I don't think you're attacking with your bloom tender. And if you are, that's less mana. Kill both. Happy birthday, Mike. <laughs> oh lord. Let's snip that. Don't let me down. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so good. Oh, well, that was really good. I mean, despite having flash, we have to kind of use it now. Oh, yeah, and we get to draw. Oh, boy. And next time we get to play a Tali. Oh, boy. Without having to activate Kiora. Oh, boy. Spells you cast. Oh, we can also Nexus a Fate, too. Oh, boy. So forest on top. Okay, well, we get to do one or the other now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can do this for three. Hmm. Oh my god, dog cam's looking. Dog cam's popping off, guys. Look at them both. What, they take a tolly? Six cards, yeah, because Expansion Explosion shows up three times. Okay, that guy's gone. Seems good. Okay. Not great, Bob! One, two, three, four, five, six. We can shoot this guy for two, which I actually feel like is kind of correct. Because it gets rid of one of their targets. And it also kind of gives us the hand. Okay, that's pretty good. Combustible Gear Hulk next turn is, is pretty decent. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, alright. 
I mean, Kiora's drawn us like two cards so far. Just one. I lied. Just one card. She'll draw us another card next turn. And then the turn after that. They're also at 12, so... Basically dead. Okay. I'm gonna pay three. They don't have three, so they can't fight. I will block, if you like. I'm pretty sure they just have to let us draw three with this, right? Oh, they're activating pot again? Good lord. Oh boy, what is happening? This is why you want Conclave Naturalist. I kept it in the game, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, that's... Wait, what? Oh, weird. You're... Oh, man, that's great, because, like... Woo! <laughs> that could have been bad for us. There's no way they... Oh wow, they took seven? Jeez. Wow, that was... Good grief, dude. That seems like a... That's wild. That, what a risk. Like, two six drops would have been crazy. Four, five. Okay. Great henge. That's good. They didn't keep a green up, though. I guess they... I mean, I guess they did with great henge, so... Okay. Again, they're... What six drops could they have? Garuda. Okay. They hit nothing? Nice. <laughs> I mean, unfortunately, that's a 7-7, seven, seven, so that's pretty awkward, but... Hmm. So. Your creature you control this common damage will pay but it won't encounter on it. Draw a card for each creature you control with uh, power four or greater. <sighs> hmm. Unfortunate. That would have been nice to uh, tuck this guy. I mean, we can Nexus of Fate, but it doesn't really do much here. We don't really have a great way to really take advantage of it. They block here. They take one. Actually, if we just play this guy, they still block here. Count damage to a player, put a one count. Like, they're taking five. They go to two. Huh. Fascinating. Is it worth Nexus of Fading here? Probably not. Two mana. Ah, oh, God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, let's play Shaman. Mm, okay. So we attack with everyone, they take five, both of these get counters, and then we can still play Yeva at instant speed. I mean, that feels fine. Yep, okay. Yeah, 
type second blue. Sure. Oh my god, the dog bed's been up this whole time, guys. The dog cam has been on for way longer than I expected it to be. Sometimes you just get lost in those dog cams. Soren is pretty good. It's pretty rough. Okay. Sure. They're like, I feel a mystic's like, and I'm like, no, nah, I'm just gonna block your dude. Draw a card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. And they're at seven life. Lotus Cobra, sure. Land. Sack Lotus Cobra. tireless tractor oh well huh that is a thing hmm where are my cards will float at I kind of just want to kill this I feel like this is going to be better than this like five conclave naturalists Oh, Shark Typhoon is interesting. Like, untapping, playing Roshin Meander at instant speed, then Shark Typhooning for like 30 is pretty interesting. I guess we're just passing. Yeah, the deck looks great, but a lot of decks in this format look great, so. Okay. Two cards, two cards, plus a card with Soren. Like, this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I mean, this is going to be a 10 10 flyer. Don't call Serpent. Hits for zero. Same's good. I mean, this is going to be a big boy. Oh, just a Honored Hydra. Okay. Do you crack a six drop? Did they accidentally mistap and, and use all of their green, forcing them to take two? That's interesting, if so. Oh, they did. Oh, that's a big deal. Tireless Tracker into four drop. Okay. That's fine. They're also at five now. This draws us another card? Good gravy, dude. Kiora's been putting in the work. 
Um, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm pretty sure we actually just shark typhoon, make like a three drop. I think we just win, right? Four, five, six, seven, then we have six, so we make a four, four. Five, five. We make a five, five, right? It takes one blue. I just wanna I don't wanna fuck it up. And we drew another card. That's cool. Oh, got him. Shark Typhoon off of Roshin Meanderer. Oh my god, this fucking... Oh my god, I need to mute this chat, dude. Hold on. Jesus. <laughs> I'm in a sneaker group chat with a couple of friends. And they're just like... It's just non-stop. D-F-I-U. What does that mean? I mean, if we had another way to kill instance, uh, not uh, artifacts, I would love to bring it in. Chaos Warp's kind of meh. Yeah, this hand seems fine. <clears throat> Don't fuck it up. Okay. Well, I won the game. Does that count? Hold on a second. I'm just gonna move my notes. Okay. If it's a Oh, wow, that's rude. That's rude. This is my guess because... Oh, just took... What? Shark Typhoon? Well, you know what they say. Oh, boy, if we can just hit two lands, three lands in a row, boy. You don't even know, man. Nothing, huh? Okay. Land. Oh, you didn't do me dirty. I need one more land, and then I'll actually... We'll call it even. I got two five drops. I can deal with it. Oh, this guy's just crushing in there and getting a counter? Oh, boy. Are they missing a land drop? Are they not having any spell? What's going on right now? Okay, they got land. I got bolt. I got lightning bolt. What? That's a two for one. Oh, I guess they drew a card. Oh, wow. Oh, this is actually real good for us. Jeez. Because they don't know about this, I don't think. Maybe they do. Maybe they're maybe they're ghosting. That'd be sad. Well, I'm still going to play a 5-4, so. Oh my god. Oh god, it's happening. Guys, I just want to hit once with a Tali. My board is dinosaurs, dragons, and sharks. Come on, one time. Let me connect that one time. Let me get give me Fallen Shinobi 1.0. Well, it triggers on connect. 
So, you know, maybe we'll see. We'll see what happens. Incubation Druid and Lotus Cobra, sure. Sounds good. Do you block the, the shark? Cast Dragon and wipe the board? I mean, I could actually, like... I should attack with this guy and just killed him, right? Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, dude, if I could just play a Dragon Lord target and kill their Hydra, that'd be like, that'd be pretty good. I mean, we have two threats, three threats on board that make a Lightning Bolt lethal, so I think this is probably the good, the, the GGs. I'm preempt, I'm not going to send it, I'm just going to get it ready, because I hate it when I, I, when someone says GG and then they concede, and then I don't get a chance to say it back because the game exits. So I just want to get it ready. In case they say it, I'll say it back. Okay. That's not arrogant. I'm just trying to be polite. God. Good game. Good games. I got a GG in the chamber. That's exactly what it was. Nice. All right. All right. This cube is actually... We're doing quite well in this cube, guys. I'm just going to say. We got four trophies already, four trophs. You know, you know what I think I love about this cube is that like it's it's playing on my love for obscure cards. So it's kind of like rewarding me for playing things like fucking Voracious Great Shark and Atali. It's just like, hey, you want to play with these cards? This is your this is your wheelhouse. Oh my god, Kerwin, I was literally gonna say twelve in the clip and one GG in the chat. So that's hilarious that we both were gonna make that reference. J-Bro did have four trophies for breakfast. I eat trophies like you for breakfast. You eat trophies for breakfast? No. Um. I'm gonna get rid of commit to memory. It's called EDH. You know what, Brett? I actually like the idea of EDH, but the fact, like, EDH bugs me because my individual, my, my, my problem with EDH is boiled down as such. My individual decisions in a game of EDH are not as important as I'd like them to be. Like, if I have, like, one removal spell, like, oh, I got ultimate price in hand, let's say. Like, <laughs> the decision I make with this ultimate price is just not, like, I, I feel like, it doesn't matter as much. If there's some four creatures, you got a creature, you got two creatures, you got a creature, you got a creature. I'm like, uh, it, does, it doesn't really matter. Learn to politic. That's your answer. That's, that's an EDH player's answer for everything. How about that new Adam Sandler movie? No. 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 Don't like that. Oh, you took my... Okay. Okay, it's real immature, but so what is this guy's three, four, six, seven mana next turn, so we can actually play this off of lands and then six, seven, go to four, go to five. We can actually keep up. Yeah, alright. So we can actually play this next turn, play midnight clock off mana. And then we have three, four, five out, so we can actually keep Shark up. Oh, I liked Uncut Gems a lot. I thought it was fantastic. Haters gonna hate. Love's gonna love. 
They're not even going to play my Signet. It's rude. Oh, they are going to play my Signet. And they played Arcane Sanctum tapped. Got it. Got it. Oh, boy. That's pretty bad. So how do we beat that's fucking impossible to beat right god I'm gonna I have like two things that can kill that thing wow that's amazing that's not it nope okay yep wow wow Holy smokes, man. I mean, Worm is six mana. It might be necessary, though. Let's get rid of Atali, unfortunately. Hey, I know you. Say what? Would you like to play first? For sure I would. Alright, you know what? Sure. Give me a cube to build a dream on and my imagination. This is where they go Lotus Cobra again, right? Demir Signet, that's fine. And then we play Midnight Clock. And then they Hostage Taker it. And, uh... It's all downhill from there. Thankfully, if they do take our Midnight Clock, we can Lightning Bolt it. And then we get to live our dream. Shaman? Buddy, I had a Shaman too once. You know what you did? You killed it. So just think of this as payback. Shamanic payback. There's a lot of signets. Don't play a don't play night. No, oh, for fuck God. I just want my I just want midnight clock, man. I just want to be able to draw some cards, bro. God, our hand is so bad right now. Joke's on them, though. They can't hostage take or anything. Yeah, don't care about that. What if you open a restaurant in Italy and just serve shrimp, chef boy, straight from the can? Uh, you would literally be out of business. 
Like, that's the thing where I'm like, I don't care how kitschy you are. Like, no one's going to fucking eat it. No one's going to pay to sit down at a restaurant in Italy and eat Chef Boyardee out of the can. Oh, my God. Oh, Doomed Artisan is cool. I might just kill that guy. Hmm. That doesn't do much for us here. Man, the number of times explosion is literally just divination plus shock. Oh, uh, Ravager Worm next time is pretty cool, but we don't have uh, the second green, so... Well... Well, I kind of hope I draw green just so I... Actually, I guess I can go... One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a lot. Oh, boy, we're good at this game. Whenever you cast... Yeah, we're just killing that thing immediately. Um, We're not attacking, so let's just put a counter on it. Sure. Uh, you did not. Sarah View has been moved till tomorrow, Sam. Thank you. Okay, we're alive. We're alive. We're dying slowly. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they could actually go just like three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we just keep this because we want to cycle it. I think we're attacking and then trying to Nexus here. We could just block with Kitchen Finks as well, which is fine. No, oh, just block with this guy, sure. Mm. Alan, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back, my dude. I appreciate it. One, two, three. Three cycle. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know if I want to triple block this guy, that's okay, I guess. Oh, they're just taking it. Okay. Okay. I think we're just getting this guy off the board. Like, if we block here, they gain two and they get another blocker. I'll take one more damage to prevent you from playing another blocker, basically. I do kind of want to get rid of the Demir Signet because it prevents them from playing things like um, Hostage Taker. Well, that guy's pretty good. That guy's pretty good. That's also not bad. Um, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Interesting. Hmm. 
Okay. Drew it again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's going to draw us three cards. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One shy. No gamble, no future, right? Ooh, they gave it to us. They were like, uh, here you go. So if we attack with both of these, where does that put us? They could easily double block here. And they go to three, and that doesn't really accomplish much, but it does get this guy off the board. They could also just trade here. They have one card, though. <laughs> oh my gosh. This chat is wild. I mean, it might be worth trading Ravager Worm for Gearhead. I think it's probably also worth this. I think it's worth getting in there for sure. Like we have a 6-6 six, six and a Fibble Thip that we can play. And they have one card in hand and they get one draw, so. Blocking here is fine. Interesting. Actually, that's pretty good. And they're at two? So we have an instant speed blocker, and they have five attackers. So we just let three through. We let, like, we take two, three, four, five, six. That's actually surprisingly okay. I guess they kill Fibblethift and Yeva. Maybe that's not okay, actually. We might, might be dead here. No, we're blocking. No, we're still alive. Four and one. Interesting. Why not kill the Yeva? I think they're dead now. Wait, maybe not. Maybe not. Hold on, let's see. Gotta block the biggest guy. If we block the second biggest guy, that we take four, five, six, seven, we go to one. Oh, yeah, they're dead. That was pretty sweet. This guy got first strike, my dude. Oof. Victorious. Victorious. Dragon Lord of Tarka. More like Dragon Lord Garbage Face. Got him! Actually, Dragon Lord Tarka is a lady. Ten minutes to downtown. Oh, yeah, loving this hand. Turn three Calamex. You have Boris Rugger and Spite Mary and you're not playing either. What are you doing with your life? Kerwin, I'm winning games. I'm winning games. 
So I've been noticing a lot of Boros Reckoner being drafted, but not making it to the main. Can you explain? There's also a Star of Extinction in our sideboard, which makes me feel even worse, because there are times where I could just be like, Windmill Slam this! Okay, how good is turn 3 Roshin Meander into turn 4... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Turn 4, 7, 7, Flyer. God, it seems really good. Okay, never mind. Oh, God. Yeah. I guess we'll wait a turn. Oh, God. So mad at everything. Oh, Chromatic Lantern? I got a Conclave Naturalist. Beautiful. Jesus, Kerwin. I'm not happy ever. You're all I have. If I had to explain it, wouldn't know. Also, we have we have two both of our X spells in hand with with Roshin. Roshin, 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 Roshin. That's fine. Ain't nobody care about that. I kind of want to land here just so I can conclave this. Well, that's a thing too, I guess. Well, that's unfortunate. I mean, Heart Shark Typhoon could be fine. But we don't have that many non-creature spells. We have like one in our hand, so. Pockets empty. How can you tell me that everything will work out? Block in your guy. Put him in the trash can. Everything will work out. So even if they have Dragon Lord Tarkin, it only kills one. Which would be sad. I wouldn't enjoy that. Because then we have to deal with the Dragon Oh, we get a Supplant Form, though. Supplant Form? I mean, we still need, like, two lands. I just want to Naturalist this. I don't think that's too much to ask, really. Why do I have a feeling it's Dragon Lord Targa? Okay, I'm gonna go. Love your content. <laughs> Sam, I'll see you later, buddy. Have a good night. Okay, you know what? Alright, I'm gonna head out. Okay, that's so much better. That's so much better. Wow. I'm loving it. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Definitely use that thing. Oh yeah, we're good. We're doing it. Hydro Crassus is not a great target for uh, supplant form. That's for sure. What was gross? What did I? What did I do that was gross? Oh, my hand is pretty good. I mean, we just need to hit red, red. Like, I just want some mana. All right. Exiling this, we don't care about. Exiling this is terrible, so that's fine. What is this deck? Oh. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. Um, It also makes this and this cheaper. One, two, three, and then we have one, two. Yeah, I guess we just have to not do anything here. Man, we just need red, red. Then we can... If we have red, red, then it's... One, two, three, four. This is seven damage. God. Not having red or a sixth mana is actually pretty stupid right now. Oh, 
not. Oh, that's too bad. There are three? Oh, I guess they had to do that. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, all right. I think we're just winning with this Thrix, right? We have two flyers. Keeping up keeping up uh, expansion as well, just in case. This guy's got haste too, so if we draw red, we just... They're all... Every creature's lethal because of our... <laughs> oh, that's good. That's a good sign. <clears throat> Look at this. They got a Jellyfish Hydra. I got a Shark, so mine's a better version of this. They got a 2-1. I got a 4-4. Mine's a better version of this. My, my deck's just a better version. Good games. Oh! Win again! God, this format's... This is like our... This is our format, man. Think he's... Jelly? <laughs> was that... Was that a Jelly reference? Was that a Hydra reference? Hell Hydra. No, just kidding. Don't Hell Hydra. They're terrible. Frank, this is the best you've done in a single draft. I think so. I mean, like, in such a short period of time. What's the? This is the happiest I've seen right in a while, and I, dude, this format just lets you do such cool things, man. I'm really, I'm really a fan of it. It's very good. Oh, the Tinker cube, the Tinker's cube was terrible. This cube, this cube is fantastic. So, you know. Dude, I just won with Roshin Meander casting a 6-6 six, six Shark Shark Typhoon. And then had Thrix, the Storm dude, in hand. And I was going to play that guy. And it's just like, I'm doing everything. Oh, we did it. Uh, Yeah, Fibbletip makes this acceptable. Tinker as a cube is fun. Eh, disagree. Agree to disagree. I did not have a bad day with it. I played it multiple times. I played it. I did about six Tinkerer's Cube drafts. I never had a good one. I was never like, wow, this cube is really enjoyable. I mean, it's not like I had a bad day. Like, I played it one day and I was like, oh, this is it. I guess, I guess that's it. Like... <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, I I definitely played the cube a bunch, like for a full week, and it was just like, oh, the same the same thing just happened every time. If you come back down to Florida and it's humanly possible to ground other people in a draft setting, you'll be kind of, dude, Brett, I would, I'm still waiting to 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 get some hangouts in when I'm in Florida with you. A pointless fight, and you're bad six days. Gotta give it a chance. <laughs> You might have just had good runs with it. A lot of people did. I mean, it's definitely... It's like... It's like, I mean... You know, like, it's just my opinion, right? Like, I don't necessarily... Alright, come on, land. Eh, that's kind of like a land, I guess. It's a land that I can't use this turn to cast either one of my four drops, but that's okay. Also, guys, Roshin Mander into Expansion Explosion. Oh, baby. That's exciting. What, what was the... Dex is two. 
So beneath the top two cards. So if we draw land next turn. Hmm. Okay. That's not exciting. Let's see if you got something exciting. Are you going to do anything here? No. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Hmm. <laughs> what is the play here? I think we just keep Yeva up. Reason being, they're kind of close to seven mana, which is like, this strikes me as a martial coup deck. Spite bellows, fascinating. What are you getting rid of? This guy. Hmm. Okay. Tell me something good. Tell me I'm attacking, yeah. So, are they just, like, almost dead with a Roshin Meander if we hit another blue? Like, we can go, like... Lightning Bolt, Roshin... I don't know. There's a lot of things. ho, <laughs> ho, well, well, well. If it isn't... This isn't sure. I'll take four. That's fine. Oh, boy. Are they just going to kill us now? Kerwin, you might see the the dream all, uh, either way. Shoot McBoot. We need a second blue. I guess we have it in Signet, right? No, because then we only have three. Huh. So they take five here, they go to seven. We're actually so close. It's really comical. Oh, we take four. What did I say? Five? I'm in four, so. Hmm. Yeah, we're like one shy of lethal. Yeah, we're one shy of lethal and one shy of blue for, for Roshin. Hmm. Okay. So we can do is play this, and then it leaves us three, which is still expansion and lightning bolt, and also somber walled sage. And it sets us up to for sure kill them next turn. If they don't just have land, star of extinction. They're still on six. So, like, it's very possible they don't have the seventh mana to kill us. Blasphemous Act is also nine because there's four creatures on board, right? It's 13 minus four. I think robots are cool. Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, if they go star, we just get to kill them in response? Oh my god. Oh, baby! <laughs> wow! 
Wow! Same target. Oh my god, this is amazing. God, dude. Wow. Friggin' Starve Extinction on the stack. They had to have Shockland that deals them two. Oh my god. Wow. I kind of feel like this is definitely relevant here just because uh, they're going to try to kill us with something like Stuffy Doll, so... That's insane. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. That was so... Dude, dude can you imagine being like, alright, I'm gonna starve extinction here. And then I'm like, I'll kill you in response. It's so amazing to see a long queue again. Long live the dream queue. I really wish this queue was longer than, like, just this week. We haven't drawn or cast Garrick's Uprising once. I'm pretty sure we've drawn every other card. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Kiora, Sage. I don't think we've drawn Rada either. So I think those are the two cards in the deck we just haven't drawn yet. Gotta cut something. <sighs> Might be midnight clock. Does that work like that? Because I will definitely bring those dudes in if that's the case. Oh my god, that might work like... Yeah, that does, right? Because my trigger will go on... Their, tr their trigger goes on first because they're active player, then my trigger goes on top. That's actually really good. I'm going to keep this hand, even though we need green. We don't need... We get two turns to draw a green source. And any land still lets us play Kiora, so... Nope, get wrecked. Beautiful. Well, I suck. <laughs> no, it's just, uh, like, to be honest, that was a totally fair mull if anyone wanted to mull that hand, but I just like taking, I, I, I take mulligan risks. For blue. Oh, what up, Arctic Avenger? Good seeing you, my dude. Are they going to unexpectedly absent one of my things? Fascinating. Okay. In my face, I guess. Four cards. Rebel Arc gets nothing back again. So... Can't actually Yeva here. I guess we can just play Kiora and not untap anything. Yeah. It's not ideal, but next turn we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana, so we can actually kill Revel Arc and draw three. Which is pretty good.
Oh man, affinity with the clip. Oh, <laughs> dude. Okay, well. Stuffy Doll 2.0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's actually... I mean, that's probably the player, right? And just hope they don't have Star again. And we do get to draw two off this. Yep, let's do that. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. That would be pretty... That's going to be pretty sick if we actually... If we don't die this turn, I think we're in good shape, but I think we're dead. I think they're just going to go land star again. They can also fight Dragonlord of Tarka to, to deal us eight... Eh, okay. You got it. That's pretty good. Oh, what up, Robert? Uh, land? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight mana. So we can deal four to something? God, green is really our bottleneck here. As long as you're sure, first rank, seven lands, we get a 10 10. Rob, what up, buddy? How wide is your bottleneck? Uh, I'll never tell. Man, this Oblivion Ring is a real bummer. I mean, they fight Yeva, it deals four. One, two. Did I play a land this turn? That's pretty bad. I'm really dumb. I just want to draw the two here. Oh, Great Shark is real good. I mean, on the bright side, we did not uh, draw a green, so I don't feel terrible about it, but. It's actually hard to deal with. I think they just kill us now. Oh, they got Marsh Flats. Spite Bell is evoked. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm dead. Wow, that's really frustrating. Yep, okay. Seems good. All right, for all the marbles. Let's bring in our own. This is actually better than an island here because it lets us cast uh, Boros Reckoner and Spite Mare a little easier. And we'll probably cut one more thing. And cut Yeva. I'm not super impressed with Yeva. Actually, maybe it's Shaman.
Yeah, we'll keep Calamax. I don't want to bring my own star because they do have um, Stuffy Doll and Brash Taunter. So it's like they have <laughs> more pieces and it's, it's more likely they're going to be able to just kill us. I think we're just playing Druid here. It's guarantees a land, and like Fiddle Thip hits a hit, guarantee like helps us hit a third land. We don't need a third land on turn two, and I'd rather just be able to start activating this. Only went to six. Okay. Okay, six cards, six cards. If a bloop gives you whatever you want, I don't know if that's true. Robert, why you gotta lie? Robert, what time will you set reviewing tomorrow? What time do you wanna start? One fifteen. that's so specific. I mean, that works for me. Like, if you mean one fifteen your time, I'm like, that's fine. Yeah, eleven fifteen sounds great for me. That's nice and early too, so I can get we can get it all in and I can still do some Cubans. Okay, well land is really what we need here. Preferably a red land, because then it gives us double red, so Wrath of God would be bad. Bully it's place where I don't care about. It. I should be available till 2.15. Perfect. Perfect. We literally have nothing to play here. Holy smokes. I can't even... I can't even adapt this. Jesus. Meanwhile, Conclave would be amazing because you can kill their Felwar Stone or like Spite Mare. We can't even play that. <sighs> God. Not like this. But then this was how it ended. Wow. <laughs> yep. Scumbags McGee. Sure. Hey, look what it is. I mean, we're not out of it, but. Glacial Fortress lets us cast Spite Mare. Shadow Spear is interesting. Hey, little man. Uh, I'll just take five here. I'm not super concerned with any of these, any of these things that are happening here. That's a good draw. Okay, so we can naturalist kill the spear or the felwar stone. I guess it's either that or spite mare. I don't think it's spite mare. They're not close to. question is is it one of the creatures is it shadow spear i don't think shadow spear is that threatening to us really i think spear is the least threatening i'd rather keep them off mana because they've missed two land drops they've missed a land drop and i also don't care about this guy i'm just gonna kill this why are we killing spear Uh, 
Guy's got first strike and trample. Good grief. Hi. Look who it is. She's just creeping along. Okay, and that's a guy. Little man's over here. You guys know about Little Man? Interesting. Another land would have been preferable. But that's not how we do. Actually, we can block and then pump this guy. Or we can just keep up Thrix. You know Thrix? No. Yeah, me neither. Is that like thrice, but Thrix? Thrix is for kids? We really just smashed a bunch of memes together, there, didn't you? I had so many good thoughts that I had to get them What do you think out. of their haircuts? Watson looks like a doofus. I think you think any like gentleman. Anytime their beards get trimmed a little more than you want, you think they look like doofuses. Come here, Watson. Come here, buddy. I think he looks adorable. Okay. I think they both look Let's adorable. Show the screen and they can tell Franklin how doofy your little tiny beard looks. Blow him up. Okay, hold. I gotta do a whole thing. Hold on. What is this? At the beginning of commenting your turn, exile it red, white, or black. Okay, this doesn't do anything, which is great. Oh, he smells delicious. He smells real good, yeah. Oh my god. I was impressed. Okay, I think we're actually gonna pump this up because three mana seems way more important right now. Especially when we have Thrix. And we can Dragon Lord of Tarka now. He definitely does not look like a doofus. He looks friggin' adorable. <laughs> he has a little rat. Please face. don't blow him up. It will grow back. <laughs> oh, Lord. We can also just Nexus right here. That doesn't do much, though. Hello, Thanos and Arctic Avenger. Did you ever tell Arctic Avenger about that one time? You when... saw the truck? When I thought that he was a superhero and I was trying to guess which one it was. But then you were like, no, that's a person in chat. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Can you guys hear Hunter in the background? <laughs> I think we just Dragon Lord of Tarka and wipe their board. I mean, I'm no expert here, but like they can get Blade Splicer back and that's pretty much it. I got Hunter something from Starbucks. What did you get him? A puppuccino. I knew you did. How did he do at work? What is? Did you get? When do you get the results? Probably now, if I looked. Oh, you could just go on the, like the site and check it out. Yeah. Once I get my lappy. How did he do? Did he do really good? Was he a good boy? He was such a good boy. He got peanut butter. Did everybody like him? Yes, he got oh cuddles. God. Oh, good. Blasphemous act. <sighs> yeah. Seems good. They were like, so when was his last vaccination? And I was like, just pretend like he's a wild animal who's never been seen by the vet before. Wow. <laughs> That's... And they were like, okay, so a long time ago. And I was like, yeah. And they were like, okay, and how about his heart murmur? And I was like, it's getting worked up, so you should just pretend like there's nothing that's been done so far. And they were like, so he needs blood work? And I was like, yeah, he needs all. He needs it all. He's perfect, baby. Thank you guys for watching. Slam the <laughs> like and subscribe button. Check around on twitch.tv slash frankformanitraders.com. Nordvpn.org. Hunter.com for best Frank boy. Okay. Oh, sorry. NordVPN.org. So you know what? I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Show the puppuccino picture. The... I just put it on your chat. <laughs> He's cute. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man. Look how big it is. Oh, he's so cute. He wouldn't let me pick his eye boogies out. He's probably doing that now. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.